24 hour ceremony happening right now. It's underway in Nu'u Anu, and they're honoring Kenny Brown. KITV4's Ashley Moser joining us live right now with more. Ashley? Good morning. We're in hour 18 of the 24 hour vigil, and we've seen family and friends come in and out of Mauna Ala here in Nu'uanu. And it's a very sacred ceremony, but also very casual. People were talking about education and the different facets that Kenneth Brown's life um, has touched. And joining us now are the grandsons of Kenneth Brown, Nick and also Sam. Nick from Hawaii, but in college, had to fly back. And then Sam from Montana. So tell us, why is it so important? Um, you know, we were talking about your grandfather. You didn't realize how much he influenced all these different people. Why is it important to honor him in this way? You know, growing up, um, I was always too young to really appreciate his wisdom. Um, and through this ceremony, I've had the opportunity to hear how his wisdom impacted other people. And so I'm getting a new appreciation for my legacy through my grandfather and a new sense of my place in Hawaii and n new wisdom from which to, to draw on for the rest of my life. And you know, Nick, or Sam, excuse me, you live in Montana, but you said that you come here and you visit your grandfather almost all the time, every year at least. Um, tell us about what you remember as a child. Um, I remember my grandfather uh, just being a really calm spirit, um, definitely a sense of understanding to him. Uh, everything about him just seemed intelligent, but quiet and humble. And his aroma was just kind of, it was beautiful. He was just this old wise man that I got to grow up with. And I never really could understand until now, um, especially with all these people praising him. And it's, it's so nice to hear and so nice to have that as a part of my bloodline and just feel that connection here to these people and to this island. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, the public can come here until noon and the burial will be at 11 with the procession then. Reporting live, Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. Back to you.